Have you ever wondered what a nematode is? Probably not. However, they are a essential part of our soil ecology. Nematodes make up one of the significant groups of uh, microbes in our soil. And essentially what they are, are basically a little worm almost. So they are um, about a millimeter in size and can grow up to 50 microns uh, in width. There's three different functional groups of nematodes and they are saprophytics, um, predaceous and parasitic. Now these um, are groups and pr pretty much describe their function in the soil. So we'll start off with saprophytics. So these make up our decomposers um, in our soil for nematodes. So they break up organic matter into um, soil organic matter. Now, as we know from the soil organic carbon video, we know that uh, breaking up or decomposing organic matter releases nutrient to the soil. As well as this, um, increasing your soil organic uh, carbon or matter rates will increase uh, your water holding capacity, improve drainage and our uh, soil structure. So essentially, yeah, they are decomposers and they increase the soil organic carbon, um, nutrient availability and all the social, uh, associated um, benefits from that. Next we have predaceous uh, nematodes. Now that means that they uh, eat other microbes. So that includes our bacteria, our fungi uh, and other nematodes. And there's two really big uh, important um, benefits from this. So firstly, um, it, it releases nutrients from other microbes. So nutrients can get uh, almost locked up um, in microbes and by the nematodes eating these, they, they eat it and they have too much of um, pretty much this nutrient and so they discrete it out. And so essentially we're freeing up uh, nutrients so the other benefit is that nematodes, or these predaceous nematodes, will be seeking out and eating our um, pest microorganisms. So that includes the fungi, bacteria, and other nematodes, uh, which leads to our parasitic nematodes. So these ones feed off our plant roots, um, and anything that feeds off of um, our plant roots by eating the plant root um, is bad. It's damaging the plant, and we don't really want that. And so um, they use their specialized mouthpiece to pretty much feed on the plant root. Almost in a similar way that the saprophytics um, uh, decompose organic matter, they will eat um, plant roots. And then we have one bad group. But if we just focus on the benefits of having nematodes in our soil, first we get that nutrient recyc uh, recycling. Now this is really important when uh, nutrients get locked up and so we go to uh, un unlock them. Next we get microbe transport. So um, bacteria and fungi will pretty much catch a ride with nematodes as they travel through the soil. And so having nematodes will disperse microbes uh, throughout the soil, which is a good thing when we want to increase uh, the distribution of our microbes. Uh, and then again with um, controlling pests and uh, disease. So because some of our nematodes are going to be um, eating uh, microbes, we're going to be controlling some of the uh, pest um, varieties and controlling disease um, by eating the pathogen uh, microbes. So to increase nematode population, it's exact same as increasing any other uh, microbe population. Firstly, we want to have uh, the right environment. So that's make, uh, making sure we've got um, enough moisture in, in the water, so it's the right pH. Um, all those factors that we talked about in our um, bacteria and our fungi, we're going to make sure we get that for our nematodes. Next, we've got soil organic carbon. Now, um, soil organic carbon or matter uh, is a source of um, energy for microbes, so we want to make sure uh, we have that. Next, we've got no, uh, we don't want pesticides. Pesticides generally are bad for uh, microbes, and we don't want that. Uh, and another one that I've got to put down, or I guess you can include in the vo in, in environment, is that you want to make sure uh, you have lots of um, plant roots and plant matter. Uh, in your soil to really protect our um, microbes. So that's it for nematodes. Uh, nematodes just uh, play into that greater role of soil ecology. It's really important that we include um, nematodes and understand how they um, contribute to soil fertility and health. Now, one last thing that I'll mention is that we can analyze um, what nematodes we have in our soil to indicate the health um, and um, soil ecology throughout the soil. So this is done by um, assessing what nematodes they are and different um, nematodes will indicate different um, ratios of either bacteria or fungi.
So there we have it. Um, the nematode is really important for our uh, soil ecology. If you like this video, make sure to um, subscribe or to share with someone that you uh, know that would really benefit from understanding um, soil ecology as a whole, but also nematodes. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on plant production, animal production, and regenerative agriculture. You know, all the micro um, soil ecology factors in our soil really make up the heart of regenerative agriculture. Regenerative agriculture comes down to building soil fertility um, and microbes and nematodes, they make up the bulk of building soil fertility. So if you like that, make sure to check it out. My name is Till Simmons and this is Agriculture Explained.